Hey, how you doing? I'm Jeff Rope, and today we're gonna get back on DH Gate. The first video I did helping everybody out uh, did really, really well. So I'm gonna make another one, check out some different items. Before I hop into that, if you're oh so kind, won't you give me a follow over on the Jeff Rope Instagram? We got a brand new one up and it's good to go. Can shoot me DMs and stuff over there. I'd love to have you. If you really wanna help support Jeff, hop on over to Patreon, $5 a month, and you unlock my whole video catalog that YouTube won't let me post over here. So that is unfortunate, but however, for the low cost of $5, you can unlock all those videos, and even after just one month, if you wanted to cancel after watching all the videos, you can totally do that, it's up to you. But the cool thing about being a Patreon member is that you'll get your name featured at the end of one of my videos. So with that out the way, Let's go ahead and pop over to Safari. I'm already logged in over here. I was doing a little bit of messing around. But here is the DHgate homepage at the moment. I am logged in. The most important thing you could do before ever, ever, ever purchasing or doing anything on this website or any website for that fact is to create an account. Because once you create an account, you have access to your orders. You can track your orders and they have a built-in tracker for you so you don't have to go copy or write down numbers and take it over to another website. DHK already has that all ready to go for you. They also have the ability to just save a whole bunch of money on coupons and by getting these coupons and buying a lot you can raise the score of your account. So as you'll see I'm a V4 that means I've spent a quite a bit of money on here, but by being a higher membership level, you get more perks and bonuses from the website itself, whether that's them emailing you personal coupon sellers reaching out to you because you they see like you're in the pool, so they see that you're a, a priority member, I guess you could say, um, frequent shopper, and they'll send you coupons to try to uh, get you to buy from their store. DHK also has an affiliate program, so if you're someone with a large following that wanted to get kickback, you can do that through DHgate. It's not, you know, making you a millionaire, but it is, um, you know, a little something. They have this coin system also to where you can redeem coins every day. It seems to work best on the mobile app, but you can set a little reminder. And then in exchange, you can cash in these coins for coupons, just straight $3 off, $1 off. You get the gist. Down here, we have customer service live help. So this is another really, really good thing about DHgate is that if you have any questions, if you're having any issues, they're so quick to get back with you. Um, I've never had, you know, a bad time. I really haven't, and especially if you do a little bit of research, you know, check it out a little bit, feel around. If it seems like it's probably too good to be true, it probably is, um, and that's kind of just how it goes. So. I have a few things written down. I do thank everyone that reaches out to me and has me get links because I, I find new stuff for myself all the time. And in return, if someone else is kind of like me or like you, and they're up on latest kind of fashion stuff or all the new stuff that's dropping, then you just kind of get to see it firsthand, sometimes even before it's even out in the stores and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let's get started. I think that's a pretty good run over of the website. Um, let's start off with, I had someone reach out. We did the B20 Dior's last time, but they have these new trainers out called the B30, and they're pretty slick, and I did find them pretty easy as well. So let's uh, get this going. We ain't want no Birkenstocks. Okay, so here they are, as you can see. And this one has 72 orders, so off the rip, that's probably pretty good. Then again, I haven't played with any of our key search engine filters. And this is when this website gets even better because now we can filter, we can go best selling so you can see which ones people have bought the most. You can see do free shipping, um, best match, by best by customer review. This website can get a little bit flooded with fake reviews um, and it is pretty common to tell a product that does have fake reviews we'll see if we can't find one um, but it'll be just pretty much like a whole paragraph and if you scroll down like it's like you can tell it's not not real just by kind of reading it so boom 
B30 designer shoe sneakers, chunky casual shoes calfskin, mesh gray technical, oblique runner trainers, outdoor shoe with box. That's a mouthful, but if you notice, a lot of products will have long worded titles like that, and that's to help that product get launched out in the search result because you can't search brand name, but you can search item name in some sense. So like if you wanted the Dior B30, you just cut the Dior off and you're left with the B30. Pretty easy, that goes with most products. And you can also search materials. So like if a brand comes out with a reflective jacket, sometimes you can just get away with searching reflective jacket. It's really that easy. But let's check these bad boys out while we're here. Fashion Maya store. This is their second year, mainly ship to the United States. 448 customer views with pictures. There was a time when DHK did go through and delete a lot of the photo reviews, but since then it seems that the majority of them are back stock on here, so that's always nice. Um, yeah, out the park. 356 five-star reviews. You're really not going to go wrong. How many sales this guy has? 681 sales. So that is still pretty new, but um, just based off the pictures and stuff, they do. Oh, yeah, look at those. So all these images that you'll also see on these product listings will be slightly altered. So as you can see, it's like it doesn't make the full CD. But when you receive the product, it will be a perfect. These are nice. I might have to cop some of these. I haven't got some of these, so do be looking for these on the channel. I do got two boxes right here. That video is going to come soon. Got to get to work. But yeah, so Dior B30. Um, if you're the one that reached out to me for me to check those out, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, I'm definitely going to probably get me some of those. Moving on. Cartier glasses. If you watch music videos, I love watching music videos since I've been able to turn the TV on and pick a channel. I've always just been fascinated with music and musicians and them, you know, performing their craft in a video and especially in the 2000s when special effects and all that started coming into play. You're getting ready for school, you know, you're watching VH1, you're watching MTV jamming out. But Cartier glasses, all of mainstream artists at this point probably own one pair if not multiple and you've probably seen them wearing them some of them are composed of buffalo horn which is the material used on the side piece or the earpiece for the glasses and that is just your search engine keyword so as you can see the times i have bought these you've probably seen me wearing them in some of my reels and stuff I usually pay $20 and they're, I mean, they're wearable, but they're not the greatest quality, um, but they're wearable. That's the thing. So these higher, higher priced ones, I assume the screws are a little bit nicer. The hinges function a little bit better than the cheaper pair probably. Um, but just by searching that, it's pulling up all of these. You got the wood ones, you got clear lens, and most of these, when you click on them, they're going to have multiple different colors in every listing. So let's go ahead and chop this up to best selling. Very nice. 26 bones. That seems pretty nice. 24 bones. We got 1,400 orders on this one, 700 orders on this one. So these are all probably going to be pretty nice. I think this was the one I didn't mean to open. Maybe I did. Uh, this guy, 3,200 sales, 97% feedback, and tons of reviews. I'm telling you guys, this website is so, so nice. Um, especially when it comes to just kind of intricate stuff that you like but don't want to go drop a whole lot of money on, then, you know, you got those little touches here and there. Um, I think a retail part, you can get probably a used pair of Cartier glasses on eBay for oh, $250 to $400. Just depends on how used you want them. These, uh, this listing has that white with green is sick. I need those. I've had the white with red. I need the, the green. I'm, yeah, I'm going to get those. But they have clear lens, wood, or the buffalo. 
I'm a big fan of the gold ones as well. Let's see if we can't find some of those. This one has little rubies in them, so if you wanted, if you wanted to bling out the lens, let's see if I can't get the picture to work. Nope. Huh. Weird. Uh, this guy, same same story. Fourth year selling designer sunglass rimless diamond cut eyeglasses, buffalo horn wood frame brown lens fashion. So, as you can see, here's another example of those long titles, but by having that long title, he's able to get into multiple searches. Same style here for 25 And in my experience, the glasses do come pretty quick. The shipping times on them are not bad at all because it's more of a lightweight product. Things that are lighter typically tend to get shipped quicker and move along the pipeline a lot faster. Here's the gold ones I was talking about. Instead of having the thick sides, you can get the Jaguar or you can just have the nice gold Cartier C on the side. Both of them look really good. Um, and those tend to, they feel better in your hand than the Buffalo Horn and the hinges on them, they just seem to work a lot better. I, I wore my gold sided ones 10 times more out and about than I ever have the Red Lens ones. So just food for thought, but yeah. Cartier glasses, pretty sick, save you some money there. Moving on, phone cases, I got the green Alligator Prada one on right now, pretty sick. Um, I've had it on here since I got the phone, which was a few months ago, so, I mean, 10 out of 10, I've definitely dropped my phone with the case on and it didn't, you know, explode. They are t pretty good. I tend to have, like, a 20-ish dollar threshold on some stuff, it just, you don't... You don't want to waste your time like buying something that's six bucks when there's like you know a twenty dollar option because obviously the twenty dollar option is going to be just slightly better and it's still you know ninety percent off on what you're going to get if you bought it at Walmart or Target or something like that. Uh, even putter covers. I'm I play a lot of golf and some of the putter covers from Scotty Cameron can go for four or five hundred bucks and they have them on here for you know thirty five bucks. So. Pretty sick, but phone cases, let's get into that. Whenever I'm looking for phone cases, I'm pr usually probably gonna get the designer ones or the high-end fashion brand phone cases. So good keywords for that are designer or luxury. Let's try luxury first and see what pops up. They make a whole bunch of Louis Vuitton phone cases in all different styles and shapes and stuff. So that's, yeah, typically what you see whenever you search that. Prada's also been making a bunch. We got Chanel. We got folding wallet phone cases, and these are 20 bucks for, yeah, 500 orders. Let's use our trusty best selling tab here. There's mine. Got mine for 14 ish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about what it was. So, can't complain. And, you know, I guess that goes against my 20 ish dollar. Maybe it should be more so, like a 12. It's like you never want to get the cheapest one, but you don't have to buy the most expensive one either, if that makes sense. Just the more you do this, the more, um, you know, intuition towards it you're going to have. So we got Gucci, and that's pretty much all you got to do for phone cases. Phone cases are in that same category uh, as sunglasses, so they do tend to get shipped and get delivered pretty quickly. Typically, I mean, probably within 21 days most time. Uh, shoe wise sometimes you can be looking anywhere from 30 to 45 days if China is as bad with the virus right now too as they say it is that could impact some stuff too if they start shutting everything down because they had everything shut down and then they reopened up everything right as soon as it was time for Chinese New Year and for everyone to travel who hasn't traveled in a long time they also said that uh, since they haven't been together or like been around each other that their natural immunity is really low so that's why it's so bad so we'll just have to play it by ear and see how that goes but to my knowledge at this very second i got boxes right here i got stuff i had another one come in today um everything seems to be fine but everything's always subject to change if you were around during the 2020 days you know exactly what it's like airpods this is something that i really I don't know. I like Apple products. 
enough that if I really wanted it, I would just go get it from AT&T or go get it from the store. If you bought a new phone here recently, you might've got a deal where you got a free pair of AirPods and that's awesome. Um, these are about $30. I got mine about a year ago. I use them daily at work. The battery life could be a little bit better on them. The connectivity is usually pretty solid. There is a little bit of finicky stuff that any Bluetooth item has. Everyone's a little bit different, you know, so you just kind of learn the tendencies. The one downside I have seen is like, I rock the left ear pretty much all the time at work if I'm just chilling. Uh, and it'll just periodically disconnect when it has plenty of battery. I'm not sure if that's just an internal thing. I've also dropped it to the point where it's split open and I just, you know, put the wires around and pushed it back together and it still works just fine. So um, the one positive thing that Apple has done is they have the ability to have the Apple Care now with pretty much all their products. So if you did buy these for retail, I think they're even dropping more. I wouldn't spend over $200 for these, absolutely not. And if they're still over that, then no, yeah. So yeah, no, don't, don't do that. If you're gonna spend big money, get bows or clips or, you know, something something that is produced by sound engineers. And I'm not knocking the dudes over at Apple because the ones that I have are nice, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna compare. The noise canceling is another really good thing about these. This has turned into an AirPod uh, review. I have that video somewhere. It might be on my Patreon that you could view for, you know, $5. But um, I do, I enjoy them. They're nice. So looking at these, if you notice, I just searched AirPods. You can also search like Gen 3 headphone. That seems to be, see this one says Gen 2 second gen that seems to be kind of the terminology they use for the airpods for some reason instagram doesn't let me share a lot of electronic links like i can send shoe links and clothing links all day but sometimes like someone will message me hey can i get a link for the airpods and i'll go to send it and it'll like say item doesn't exist like it catches the link and and destroys it before i'm able to share it so um if you look this says like these are the keywords that you want to search. So if you wanted to, you could word for word search this on DHgate. But um, most of the time you're looking at about $40, 30 to $40 for these. But make sure whenever you purchase these that you're not just buying the cover. See, this is a solid silicone cover. You want to make sure you get the actual one. So choose options. See how it says for AirPods. So this is just the cover. So make sure you don't accidentally just buy the cover wouldn't want to do that of course if you're going to get some eventually you'll need a cover anyways but yeah those so when you search airpod it seems to just be pulling up the cover so let's just search gen 3 try to find these here best selling h1 chip there we go that's what we're looking for that's another keyword you can use that h1 chip uh, yeah, wireless charging, Bluetooth headphones, AP3, AP2, earbuds, second headsets, USPS, DHL, TWS, UPS. They got all the shipping options. They really want to get you these AirPods. AirPod Pros, 23 bones. AirPod 3 B set, 38. And the AirPod Pro 2 with B set A and C is 39.82. So about $40 for something that people try to sell you for about three times, if not four times that much. So freaking good and so real are very loud, have but doesn't have true noise cancellation. See, mine do, so some of them might, it might depend on what phone you have too. Um, the only ones that have noise cancellations are the ones that have the tips like this. If you get the other ones that look like the basic headphone, those might not have. But these also come with a transparency mode. So if you are someone that likes to wear them like, like, and be able to hear your surroundings, that's what transparency mode does. So say you're at work jamming out, but you need to be able to hear your boy holler at you if a box is like falling down or something, you can, that's transparency mode. So super sick there. The AirPods can't go wrong. Sneaky, you scratching over here. What you doing, girl? 
So last but not least, something that I'm actually wearing right now um, is some essentials, man. And I hate that it is retailed so high. I get it. Jerry's got to make his dough. But uh, your boy wants to look good and not go broke. So we're going to check out some essentials for a nice price. And these are running about 33, 35. We're getting a lot of options already off the rip, off that first search. So let's go ahead and use our tab, best selling, boom. This guy's got shirts, sweaters, sweatpants, and the hoodies. So he probably means business. This guy, 338 sales with a 97 feedback. 1100 customer reviews with photos you gotta love it and periodically they will take down a listing and relist it that way it gets surfaced back to the top of the search engine sometimes if it's around for a long time it'll kind of fade out and all the newer listings will go above them so that's probably why it only shows so many sales um, they create a lot of counts too so for this crew neck let's pick a size here $30, $10 shipping, $41, but in stores I'd probably be $89.95 or over $100. The hoodies we're looking at $41 as well. Sweats, so everything I think is around. T shirts are $27. So you could do a nice little order, save yourself some money. Another thing I want to touch on real quick is if you can see this, it says only four you only have four sizing options that means that this will be in an american sizing you can pick your normal size everything's going to be okay if for whatever reason you click on this and it has size triple xs through triple xl then it's going to be in chinese sizing that means you just need to add two to your normal so if you wear a medium you're going to get an xl if you wear an xl you need to get that three xl that's kind of how that works. And another thing that I love, say I wanted to get recommended a size, you can message, come down here and you can message the seller chat, or you can shoot them a direct message and be like, hey, you need to convert your height and weight from inches and feet and pounds to centimeters and kilograms, which is real easy. You can just Google converter or or there's an app for conversions and then you can just do that. So once you have your height and weight converted, you can message the seller and be like, hey, I'm 190 centimeters tall and I'm 90 kilograms. And they'll be like, oh, you need an XL. Be like, okay, that's what I thought. Thanks for confirming. Boom, you're on your way to having some discounted, well-fitting essential stuff or any brand for that matter. So this has been another DHgate video. If you need help finding stuff, comment down below. I can make another video helping you out or I can you know, shoot you a message on Instagram. That's the easiest way, that's the most effective way and that's what I recommend. Reach out to me over on Instagram and I can help you out. I've got my phone in my hand way too much out of the day but I try to make it worthwhile and make it uh, at least a contributing thing lots of phone use these days that's why i like to go play golf too whenever i play golf i don't ever play on my phone a lot so yeah i'm jeff robe thanks for tuning in today and i'll be back soon when i got some more stuff for you hey how you doing? Thanks.